So again I see that my direction of the flux due to my field poles are this, this and this way. This is due to the field pole. Now my direction of the flux due to my armature conductor carrying current is this I see. So rather than and brush was since it is here. So if I am having a brushes over here only, I keep my brushes now again on the same neutral axis. Assumed neutral axis. Again, I, I said that this is my magnetical neutral axis, which is where flux is not there. Magnetically, it is, it is neutral, so it's for magnetically neutral axis. It is geometrically neutral axis, GNA, from passing through the poles. So I can have a different arrangement that previously my wiring from brush brushes was going like this and the load was connected over here. So rather than doing this arrangement, I have a simple, quite a simple arrangement that rather than directly going to the load, I have a small pole over here. And via this pole, my wiring is going to the external load. And these wiring are done in such a way that the flux produced by them here and here is such a way this is called pi c due to poles these are called the commutating poles these are called These are called the commutating poles <clears throat> and their direction of flux is always in such a way that it opposes the flux created by the conductor. So this flux is like this and this flux is like this. So these two fluxes, this is due to phi, this phi is due to my uh, conductor which is having current so I am having a direction of flux in the upper direction and the direction of commutating poles flux is in such a way that it opposes this flux so normally it is fully balanced so I will not be having any flux over here due to this so again my the direction of resultant of this this and this would be this only, this direction only. So this was my requirement that the actual direction of my uh, field poles MMF should be from north to south perpendicularly. That is now happening because my flux due to my conductor has been cancelled by this commutating poles flux. And even though there is a change of uh, current, so this will be looked after by this commutating force. More the current, more they will be producing, this will be producing more, this will also be producing more uh, phi C and phi because of this conductor also will be more. So they will cancel out each other. Again, the direction of the actual direction would be the same as desired. So this is totally cancelled. So one of the biggest problem of shifting my brushes is solved. I don't have to solve my, I don't have to shift my brushes here and there just to have the good combination. Now brushes will be in this direction only and now I will call this as a magnetical neutral axis permanently. 
Now this is this has become the magnetically neutral axis permanently after my commutating poles because this would be my commutator and these poles will be called as commutating poles and they are as I can we can see they are actually in series with the armature. So this is very important point that the commutating poles are always in series with the armature coil or your conductor. <coughs> so this is how I have solved my armature reaction. So another part comes here that before that since I was in the previous figure I was saying about the total flux since we saw that here it was counterclockwise here it was clockwise like this so the interaction was somewhat like here it was counterclockwise here it was clockwise before my commutating poles so I can have another thing which are called as demagnetizing ampere turns and magnetizing ampere turns so we have a look on the magnetizing and demagnetizing ampere turns what are those actually we will see those So now I can I can have different different accesses. We know this is our M N A. If I find this is A, this is B, this is S O, this is C, this is D. The angle between an A O B is called as a demagnetizing area. This is called as B magnetizing area this is also and you'll see OD is also called as demagnetizing area the angle between BOC and AOD is called as a cross magnetizing area Sorry. why this is called demagnetizing area. This and this A O D A O B and C O D. These both are called as demagnetizing area, and this B O C and A O D is called as the cross magnetizing area. In this zone, in angle between angle A O B, here the direction of this was C. We can see this the direction is uh, in this direction. Here also is in the same way. But here it is cross magnetizing it. My direction is here, my actual direction of flow of phi is here and my direction is here like this here it is 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 like in the clockwise direction here also it is clockwise here it is anti clockwise my actual direction is this and my direction of flux due to current uh, flowing in the uh, conductor is like this so it is actually cross magnetizing here here it is totally demagnetizing. So this is called as a demagnetizing area. This is called a uh, cross magnetizing area. So this is very important regarding uh, when uh, objective type is concerned. So we should be knowing about magnetically neutral axis, geometrically neutral axis, and uh, 
in magnetically neutral axis we get the demagnetizing area where the flux is demagnetizing in nature and here it is cross magnetizing in nature in the geometrical neutral axis.